Hey, welcome. Today I'm really excited to introduce to you the Supersonic Accelerator, a super collider powered performance instrument designed for maximum creation speed. I'm going to walk you through some of its main features and show you how quickly you can put together a track from scratch. By just plugging in a dummy cable, the sequencer starts. The sequencer makes it really easy to experiment without breaking the creative flow. It evolves on its own, but you have complete control over the environment in which it grows. I think of it as sequence farming. If you have a specific idea that comes to mind, you can directly seed it into the environment via the keyboard. Oscillator 1 gives you 16 oscillator types to explore including wavetables, samples, granular engines, polyphonic, and physical modeling. Switching between them is instant, and more advanced users can easily reprogram them to fit their needs. I think this could use a touch of ambience. Let's add the included tape delay. Oscillator 2 brings two types of FM and two types of ring modulation into the mix. You can hear how flexible this can be. Fuzzy tones, aggressive textures, and everything in between, with lots of knob range dedicated to subtlety. By default, oscillator 2 is modulated by oscillator 1. But this is a semi-modular design, meaning we can override the default connections. Let's try modulating oscillator 2 with itself. How about we use the LFO instead? The LFO rate is also modulatable. Let's modulate it with something unusual, like oscillator 1. The accelerator encourages modular style experimentation with FM, ring modulation, and feedback loops. What if we were to ring mod oscillator 2 with something percussive, 
like drums. Oops, that's the mod wheel output. Let's try it again. Of course, no track is complete without drums. The accelerator includes a drum machine that's just as fast to use. Let's patch it in. I was actually imagining something a little different. Let's re-roll. Just like that, we've got a beat to put our sound shaping into a realistic context. It's really easy to get carried away doing this. And I think it begs the question, given a plausible melody, can you use timbre and mixing alone to make it fit your taste? With any other device, I might forget to hit record before improvising, but this one automatically records everything you do, either as a stereo master track or as stems if you want to mix and add more production later. And that's just scratching the surface. The supersonic accelerator still has way more under the hood, but even just with oscillators, sequencing, and drums, you can see how fast and easy it is to find inspiration. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to try it yourself, check out the GitHub link in the description, or you can check out some of my other videos for more information. See ya!